Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Viviana Vargas, and I will be talking about a leadership quality. There are many exceptional qualities that a leader can have and obtain, but the one that stands out and I believe is a great quality to have is charisma. Do you have charisma? How do you know if you obtain charisma? Well, in this presentation, the quality I will be speaking about is charisma, and it is discussed and spoken in the book 21 Indispensable Qualities of a Leader by John Maxwell. I will be discussing on how to implement it on a day-to-day -day basis, as well as teaching you all about charisma. I will give you also some personal experience that I have with charisma. So before I tell you about my quality, charisma. Do you recognize any of these people? I'll give you a second to look them up. Do you know what they all have in common? Yes, absolutely. They have charisma. So we have Tim Cook, CEO of Apple, Oprah Winfrey, a talk show, an actress, a TV producer, and an author, Barack Obama, our 44th president, Ellen DeGeneres, she's a writer, a producer, and a TV host. They all have charisma. As we can see, they all in their own ways show charisma, rather that be a producer or president, an actor, and a TV host. They all showed charisma in their own ways, as well as they show it in and at their jobs. So what is charisma? Well, as stated in 21 Indispensable Qualities by John C. Maxwell, Charisma is plainly stated as the ability to draw people to you. And like other traits, it can be developed. Honestly, I love and definitely agree to this quote 100%. What I take of this is you have a genuine spark that rubs off on, on, on others, but it rubs off of you too. Um, you believe in something powerfully and you share, it. you share that belief with others. You share any type of resource that you have with others. You're a great storyteller, you're empathetic, you put other people before you and try to make sure that they're, they're doing well and okay. You can focus on other people in conversation, like trying to remember someone's name um, when you first meet them. You can remember something small about them, like when they're telling them about your, themselves, you can remember, oh, like, you know, um, Stephanie, she she's in love with One Direction, but specifically she loves Harry. So, you know, maybe bringing a conversation up, listening to something, maybe you saw something on social media that reminded you of that person and sending it to them. Something small like that can make a huge difference to someone and put a smile on that face. And honestly, that's what makes me, um, honestly, just makes my day like knowing that I put a smile on that person's face or helping them out in any way I can um, gives me a great sense of feeling so I just spoke about what is charisma so how can you demonstrate charisma well as stated there are four um, four pointers to start off with as spoken by John Maxwell the first one is um, is love life this means making sure you enjoy life to the fullest, even if it's just passing a quiz, getting a new job, um, you know, making your bed every morning. The small things that you do in life, celebrate it. Go, go all out. Just be happy for yourself for that small accomplishment. Celebrating the small things in life is a great way to bring people to you because it's a positive vibe that you're putting off. Two. Put a 10 on every person's head. That means expecting the best of a person. This means making that person think highly of themselves, which brings in the happiness and smile on their face. Three, give a booster to them. And, and it can definitely change their perspective quickly and make the situation change too. Lastly, share yourself. This point sir, means sharing your wisdom, sharing your resources, and even a special occasion too, so people can see that they can succeed in that as well. You can see all these four pointers when it comes to charisma. The bottom line is thinking about others and their concerns before thinking about yourself. So when you're talking to someone, try to make sure you're talking, you're letting them talk to you more rather than you talk about yourself is a great way to start this. So some examples that I have is, um, and how I possess charisma on a day-to-day -day basis, 
and in my life in general is an example that I always remember is when I was in either kindergarten or first grade. It was during recess and I had a jacket on and this girl did not. She she just had a tank top, I believe. And, you know, it was it was pretty cold. And at the time it was drizzling, too. So, you know, it made it even colder. I remember I offered her my jacket and even though I knew I was going to be freezing, I knew that I was, you know, that I could probably get sick. I'd rather her be warm and help her out than myself. She loved my jacket as well because at the time it was bedazzled and it was a whole cool thing. So, you know, I gave her my jacket because seeing that smile on her face made me smile and it made me feel good about myself. It made me, um, I don't know how to explain the feeling, but it just made me feel so good that to see her smile and the fact that she loved this jacket and the fact that, you know, she she didn't have this cool jacket at the time um, and ha letting her have it was just, I don't know, that was that just put an icing to my cake. Um, so, you know, that was a way that I always remember, as well as I always remember ever since I was little, teachers always told me I always had a lot of charisma because no matter what, I always try to put a smile on teachers' faces, whether that's offering them any help, cracking a joke to them or anything along. So now that I'm 23, another example that I do at work is people, we all have to be there by 5.30 until um, 1. And some of, my toddler, some of my coworkers have toddlers and are exhausted. So, you know, I offer them, hey, can I babysit your kids so they can have a day to themselves and, you know, just relax. And that always puts a smile on someone um, when they just want to relax and take a time for themselves. Another another thing I do is some coworkers that I have are students. So, you know, if I ask them, hey, like, what classes are you taking? They tell me, oh, you know, accounting, um, account, my first accounting class. You know, I give them my notes, hoping that I, they're giving them hope that there is a light at the end of the tunnel um, and seeing that smile on their face, you know, giving them hope and trying to continue to, you know, uh, look for, for the light is another great, great example that I have. Well, this is all about charisma, and I hope you guys enjoyed just as much as um, I did talking about charisma. Thank you all for being here, and I hope you have gotten some encouragement regarding and try to implement uh, this quality on a day-to-day -day basis.